Mr. Taylor. Good morning. Mr. Hinman, how you doing? I'm quite all right, thanks. They told me you, uh, you want to drive our car. Oh, well, my team was telling me that you want to drive my car. Got a golf around this afternoon, got to put my club somewhere. NSX looks like a perfect vehicle. Yeah, real funny guy, huh? How do you like driving a car with an SUV motor in it? Well, I don't mind an SUV motor that wins races and championships, you know? That's all we want is race car drivers, right? <sighs> Can I drive your car? Can I drive your car? Rock, paper, scissors? Sure. All right. Well, schedule says I drive first anyway. In. Okay. Oh, no. No. All right, how do I get in? All right, so <laughs> sit down here, spin your legs in, hold the top there, and slide right in. In we go. All okay. right. That's pretty easy. Throw the pedals on the right, brake pedals in the yeah. middle, ha, ha. and then clutches on the left. Lots of buttons and fancy switches. To leave the pits, clutch in, first gear, you can use the limiter and just use the launch control. Yeah, uh, so you're telling me just dump the clutch? Just pretty much dump Full the power and yeah. let her rip. Yeah, let it build okay. boost for a little bit. What's F minus the grade that you're going to give so, me after I drive this thing? Or? Yeah, yeah, these are your grades. <laughs> so we don't have ABS in the Air X05. Uh, um, yes. It's carbon brakes. They will switch on instantly. You'll build heat really quickly. They're going to stop really, really well. You don't need a ton of brake pressure. Okay. You're going to get a feel for that. So, um, you know, my GT style meathead self doesn't need to go to go into the corner and try to bury this brake pedal through the firewalls. No. It sounds it, like it's a lot more finesse. Yeah, a lot more, a lot more sensitive. I think everything you do with, with the prototype, the, the slower and more precisely that you do it, the more the car likes it. Okay. So now you're up to, up to speed on all the electronics, all the buttons, all the switches, and I'm told you're a professional, so uh, yeah, okay. let's, uh, let's get her back in one piece. Profession Have fun. Professional used loosely. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no pressure. Thanks, pal. in a good way? I don't know. We'll see. I don't think it's got enough power. <laughs> Not even near on it yet. Are you liking the carbon brakes? Still uh, getting the feel for it. I'm so used to just absolutely mashing a brake pedal. So finesse in this thing. I'm uh, nowhere near your braking point. The big thing I'm noticing right now is just trying to adjust my vision for how much quicker I'm going here, too. Not bad for an SUV motor, huh? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, nice job there, turn one. Carrying good speed now. Keep trusting it. Still trying to get a feel for the tire on the braking. If your neck does get sore, just don't say anything. That might just be in your seat. You can sit how quick we're going here. It's a little scary, so don't mind me. I still get to drive your car. Don't forget. Good point. The other thing that's really cool, too, is the way it just builds down for so noticeable. Like on your core as you're uh, building speed. I mean, it continues to accelerate. But uh, you can feel yourself just getting absolutely plowed into the ground. I don't know how you race at the space. 
door to door with other people. It's completely insane. But again, awesome. Good job. Look at it. <laughs> Holy sh Yeah. He did great. Unreal. It was really unreal good. Piece. Yeah. It's been eight years since I've driven a single seater car. So to get back into something of that nature mm -hmm. was uh, definitely tricky at first, mainly because of how quickly everything's sort of coming at you, right? Yeah. Just especially when you're really starting to pick up some mid-corner speed. But the biggest thing is just the feel, the feedback that this car gives you. I think that's why getting up to some sort of relative pace wasn't too difficult, just because of how much information you're receiving through, you know, your seat, through the pedals, through the wheel. No, you did great. What did you think Unreal. of the, the braking? Pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> At first. Were the carbon brakes weird to get used to? Yeah, they, yeah, they were, um, especially with your description of, okay, you know, you first build temperature, and you yeah. can feel it even though you're up to temperature, yeah. right, in every brake zone, there's still that little bit of, like, an initial, yeah. like that first application of brake yeah. it's not quite there immediately i think that's something that you'll feel in in the nsx where you can hammer that thing right away strongest, yeah best. super hard okay. um i'm looking forward to seeing yeah, what you think of, of my beast but i didn't want to get out of this thing i know, I, I know. this was like oh my god <laughs>
We're always flashing the lights, kind of trying to get you to move out of the way. But it is busy in here. Holy cow. So, yeah, a lot of respect to you guys. That's, uh, that's a lot of work. I mean, compared to the DPI, um, it does everything well. Like, you can, it's so forgiving with the way the car handles. You can make it do what you want with the pedals. Um, it's a really nice car to drive, does everything very predictably. Yeah, it's about damn time you give me an apology for all those passes that you've thrown on us. But uh, it's good, good to good to see you get the uh, the idea of what's going on in the GT car. You know, obviously, guys at your level are going to pick this up very quickly. So it's it's fun to watch, fun to be a part of. Did it. Copy. Did it. You already pulled into the pit box uh, more accurately than I do, so do, do you just want to keep this thing full time? I'll gladly take yours full time. We can we can switch for a couple of days. That was a blast.